Hello. Welcome. Welcome all. It's virtual classroom time. Whoa. That's an interesting sound. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's up, everybody? It's going good. Let me see if there's anyone named to admit. I have my dragon friend with me today. Uh, it's the best work buddy ever. They just posted a new video on Hatch because I just it had no sound. Yeah, I'm currently re-uploading it. It's deleted now. Oh yeah, because like there's no sound in it. I can't. I don't hear yeah. like what he's saying. Like, yeah, <laughs> so that's why I re-uploaded it. It's still processing. Okay. I can show you. Wait, is it the ski free? No. No, <laughs> it's not the ski free. It's like something about the summer program. Yeah, it's a. I do like a little um, peaks. Yeah, it's a sneak peek, but it's like I'm doing the one of the pro group projects, it's one of the quests for the showcase. I mean, by quest, I just mean group project, but we're trying to make it exciting. So it's got a, the thumbnail has a picture of a white key on it. I see. Okay, it has sound now. Uh, so I can actually prove to you that it has sound now. It's not um, uploaded yet. It's still waiting. My name is I'm a coach at Hatch Coding, and today I'd like to give you a yeah, sneak peek. Yeah, that's my customer service voice. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my name is Brenda. I'm a coach at Hatch Coding, and today I'd like to show you. <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, and Why are you speaking in like a soft voice? Like, Hi. We yeah. see that in all the way. It's, like, it's like, hi, my name is Brenda. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I sound professional. I'm somebody that you can trust. <laughs> uh, halfway, so see this one? There's like a picture of a key with a lock. Well, it's the one. Uh, peek, so peek. it's uh, And maybe that's so at some point, uh, I start pretending I'm multiple people working on the same project together. So see, uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be called Sarah, I keep and I say that. I already said that uh, so I, I named prefer the second person Kara or Sarah. Kara. Um, <laughs> why do you feel bad for hatch coding on YouTube? Uh, I'm going to You're say nice if... subscribers. Yeah, it's all me. It's 100 percent me uh, uploading on YouTube. And then my coworkers are like, "You forgot to add this in the description." I'm like, "I'm sorry." Uh, so uh, then I oh, oh why are you not surprised? I mean, subscribed. I don't know. <laughs> Help them to subscribe. Uh, so then I have this I'm character subscribed. named Lucy, which is a self-insert I put into a Stardew Valley fan fiction. Uh, this looks so easy. This project is so easy. Yeah, it is. It's really easy because you get to pick the requirements. So, uh, no, it's all draw the team logo is another quest for or group project for the summer team event. And this, this dragon guy is also for the summer team event. Am I getting you guys excited yet? Yes. What does it do? It doesn't do anything. So, yeah, so when I click on the screen, it changes the background. When I type, it shows up. I haven't got it to be able to backspace, but I, so I just didn't mention that in the video that I failed. Um, didn't didn't, didn't make it. The requirements. You have to, all code should be in functions. That's just for the group. Each person has to include a user defined function, a draw function, and another reserved function. So uh, I guess the draw function is for the like group. Like mouse click function, mouse release. Yeah. I mean, but not so mouse like release. Sarah and Lucy, my imaginary friends, um, each made a one line function that they could use in the mouse click function. So they both understand how mouse click works, and so they both get marks. I made the draw function. Uh, so I know how user defined or reserved functions work. Uh, hello world. So yeah, you can do that and then it changes the color. So that's something you could do. Um, somewhere there was a, I'm going to pause my screen so I can go looking for it. My coworker showed me uh, some of the, she has these interns, like they're like 15 and they test things out. So they're doing all the projects. Let me see. Oh no, this is Zoom. Do you know anybody that makes projects? Yeah, Kayla. Yeah. Can you tell some of the projects she made? Uh, Mr. Foster, Foster makes projects. Can you yeah, tell so one of his projects? The two of them, they made the entire platform. Like, all only, of the- Only them two? That's it? No, there's students. There's a there's couple students. ones by students, like King Piece is one made by a student. 
Zoe so trying e. to find you guys. Um, and flower. I'm kidding. Flower about is also one. I'm, I'm just trying to find the group project that the interns made because it's all about Peppa Pig's birthday. My uh, Peppa Pig. I think it's really uh -huh. funny. You know, in YouTube, there's, there's a one million version that he combines one million Peppa Pig and they all say Peppa Pig. Ah, hello, I'm Peppa Pig. It's so, <laughs> so this loud. is the group project uh, nice. that the interns made. And when you reload, it changes the um, text color. If A, what's A? I don't know. They had to include a certain number of variables. So they just made she's, a Boolean variable there. She's nine, like, she's really mature for nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how old she is. I, I didn't she's have any part five. in this. Well, then the interns are wrong, so you can shame them for their lack of knowledge about Peppa Pig. <laughs> so anyway, that was a big tangent. Uh, I think this is ready to upload. Um, so I will click public and save. No, public. Be on the website, please. I made this little uh, thumbnail where the I used the lock and the key from the functions project, and I and I made uh, the like I, I got a clip art dragon to represent my little dragon guy here, and uh, I have it on the thumbnail at the end. The dragon is behind the lock because. There's a like a series of skits where you have to save a dragon from an evil wizard, and you unlock the next part of the skit when you finish a group. Twenty-seven of seconds. Uh, wait, I'm gonna thumbs that up. Look at this. <laughs> wait, what am I looking at? Wait, so we oh, yeah, please, so we can sign up for Hatch Early Summer. Wait, yeah, can, so wait, I'll... can you can you zoom out? See, I I like the video. Wait, wait. Oh, thank you. I'll refresh so we can see it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gotham. We've got a 100% like rate. Uh, so if I go to Hatch Coding, and you have to say it in that voice, Hatch Coding, click Get Coding. I, I, have, I have a question. Why is it too dedicated to you? Okay, so for the summer event, it's basically to a bunch of group projects. Uh, we up, it? We increase the, well, we're trying to make it a really exciting series of group projects. Um, but the first ones are like about variables and yeah, we'll get to the leaderboard. Don't worry now. Uh, variables, mm -hmm. functions, but then it gets up to like object prototypes and you have to make object prototypes in your Like in your easy project. to hard. Yeah. And uh, you'll unlock little animations and skits with my dad dressed up in a wizard costume uh, and meet new friends, theoretically. If you get put in a team with people who you aren't friends with yet. Uh, and it'll be something to do over the summer because there's no in-person summer camps because COVID. But you could have so if you things. have the dedicated subscription, some of you might have the $75 a month subscription because we uh, like increased the price, but then we didn't increase the price for people who already signed up because that's not fair. Um, the dedicated Ooh. team is $45 more than the dedicated price here, but it might be $65 more if you've got $75 subscription. Do you if you switch um, like just for summer to dedicated team yeah. and you go back to dedicated, will it still be 75 for you? I will see to if it personally that it's still 75 for you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the official protocol is for that. Uh, our boss would probably be like, yeah, let's get more money. But I'm just being like, no, that's not fair. And I'll talk to the people who's in charge of the subscriptions and we'll make sure that you guys get back to 75 if you switch back, if you had it before. Um, yeah, because that's really fair. So if you have a serious subscription, then it includes a summer team event as well, because 240 is obviously more than 140. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to make you pay like 340 <laughs> a month. So yeah, and then once you sign up, we go, you get into a spreadsheet. Um, and that's your team. It's like being assigned a cabin at summer camp. And then your coach will reach out to you like, hey, here's a doodle poll where you mark down your available meeting times and then in those meeting times you'll get to work on the group mm -hmm. project you'll get instructions for the group project so that's a quick rundown of that sorry for boring everybody who didn't want to hear that board <laughs> we'll check out the leaderboard now can we do the quiz yesterday? from yesterday no, no. i saw i saw how you said that probably my answer is probably because <laughs> it all depends on like if we have time at the end, I'm not going to do it for the whole class again because I'm assuming not everyone just wants to do yesterday's quiz again. 
but probably. So uh, Niles is still at number one. <laughs> this is satisfying. Uh, we've got yeah. Niles is also at number three with this dude named Sebastian in the middle. Um, color War. Ooh, funky. That's what my Color War looks like. Uh, are you on the leaderboard? No, I didn't. Wow. Yeah, I could go to your Color War. Uh, color War. I'm waiting for it to load. It was like, I usually just, I used to just do every single project and just not do the challenges. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's not loading for me, unfortunately. Um, oh, but I'm sure it's beautiful. What's up? Um, you remember how yesterday mine was broken too? Yep. But then we fixed it. Maybe it has the same problem for this. I don't remember what uh, was wrong with yours. Let me. No, like um, the instructions, some of them were wrong. Right. Uh, let me yeah. check on my end. Okay, so maybe Miley, I'll let you go to that. Um, I've had complaints from people about the virtual classrooms. Some people have said that it's too easy, uh, and other people, more people, have said that it's too hard. Um, and so <laughs> I'm in a bit of a predicament. Like I can't please everybody, but I do, don't want to leave anybody behind either. So uh, I know that there's some people who have just started, like uh, if MJ's here, I know he's relatively new. The Ryans are pretty new. Uh, so if uh, maybe, maybe what I've been thinking is that we can do on one day of the week, like maybe it's Wednesdays, maybe it's Thursdays, maybe it's some, whatever, Mondays, uh, we can do uh, like a poll about what, or get people to comment what projects that they want to do or want help on, and we can do it together. And then some of them are gonna be easier projects and some of them are gonna be harder, and then there'll be like a balance. Does that make sense to you guys? Sure. Do you yeah. guys, what else would, like do you have any thoughts on how to make it more balanced between easy and hard? Oh, thank you, Ryan. I well, mean, you can just. Haven't... Sorry, uh, somebody somebody asked their question. It was Miley. You you can go first. Add a poll. Do you remember what you were gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. Yeah. Okay. I can't make um, open polls. So if you, maybe at the beginning of every day of the week that we choose to do this, I'll just uh, ask everybody, type in whatever call, whatever project you want to work on today, uh, and then we'll do those. That's how I love it, I used to read. Yeah. Uh, and now we do like quizzes and student-led stuff and debugging and stuff as well, but That's that makes sense to me. It's nice. Project picker. Uh, sorry? Project picker. <laughs> yeah, project picker. So today, uh, I think we could work on ping, and that might help a lot of people. It's got a uh, for loop in it, and it's got objects in it, and arrays, and mouse nested clicks. Nested for loop. It's got nested for loops. So, uh, so hopefully everybody will be able to learn something from this, or at least brush up on your skills. This is what it looks like. Have you guys already done ping? How yes. many of you have done this project? I have. Nice. I have. That is my color bar. Uh, so maybe those of you who've already done it can help us with the tricky parts. Uh, while I'm doing this, other people, if you think of a project that you'd like to do, no matter how easy or hard it is, comment it in the chat, and I will go through after I finish ping and see what uh, people want to do. We could even put it in a wheel of names, except instead of names, it'd be like project names. All right, so to start this project, I want to see if we can do this at English description. Okay, she did nice. Uh, just this one, because I've broken it down a little bit. I think this is a good level of breaking down. Declare an array that will store all of the pings and a ping object. 
Uh, how do I make an array? Um, var drops or something. Or yeah, sounds var good. Var bubbles, I don't know. Lots and then bubbles. you I do, like bubbles. okay, equals um, parentheses, or no. Square brackets, yeah. It's, Did I lose anybody with making an array? Who doesn't know what an array is? No. Cool, it's just a list, list of things. Uh, and a ping object. All right, we get to make an object. So if we look at the example, the, a ping object, I'm assuming is gonna be this big circle dude, the expanding white circle. And uh, do we have just one ping object or a bunch of them? A bunch of them? Yeah, we got a lot of them because uh, we can make an infinite number of things. So are we going to use an object literal or an object prototype? Prototype. Yeah, so that we can make infinite numbers of them. The var ping, I'm capitalizing it because it's an object, equals function. So I know it says function here, um, but that's just a workaround in JavaScript. Even though it says function, it functions as an object. Have you ever done anything without pressing right down? Shut, the, shut the background. Yes, I have. I did little dude without bre breaking it down. Maybe we can, yeah, background. we also have to set the background. What background color do we want? What are you doing? Good background, maybe, uh, light blue. Light blue? Light blue. Okay. Maybe it should be 0, 246, 255. 0, 246, 255. You like that color? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to scroll down into the draw function to see what we need for our ping object. Looks like we need uh, so drops dot length is going to be our bubbles dot length. Uh, so we need an x, we need a y, a radius, and a speed. Okay, so we'll say this dot x, this dot y, this dot radius, this dot speed. So this dot x and this dot y, I'm assuming is mouse x and mouse y. If they were like a random place, then they wouldn't be centered around where my mouse was. They would just like, I would click somewhere and it would appear somewhere else. Did I lose anybody? Did you guys get why I use mouse x and mouse y there? Yeah. Can't you do equals x? Uh, yes, I could do that, equals x. But now the computer's upset because it doesn't know what x is. You, so how do I fix that? Maybe you can put the put parameters. In the parentheses. In the parameters. So I'll do that for y as well, so we've got it all balanced. So then uh, when we create a new ping object, we're going to have to pass in an x and y value into the object constructor. That's a lot of words. Object constructor looks like this. And then we, instead of just leaving it like that, we would have to put an x value and a y value. If we don't put in a mess, we could even do like 200, 200, and then they would all be in the center of the screen no matter where we clicked. Uh, so we're going to want to put in mouse x plus y. Anyway, how about the radius? I'm assuming the radius will start at a small number so that it gets gradually bigger. Maybe you should start it at zero. Let's do that. This dot uh, radius equals zero. And speed, how much do we want them to increase every time? Like to get bigger? Maybe it should be a random value, so they like All seven right. increase at different speeds. What's the fastest that we want it to go at? Six. Six, cool, very decisive. All right, so that's our first component and we Yay. didn't even have to break it down. That's awesome. You get like a thousand points for that. Draw Yay. equals function. You guys all know how to make a draw function, right? It's just yes. this. What does the draw function do? Ha, ha, ha. It repeats the code, the code. 60 times a second. Yes. So it's like if you've ever listened to a song, it's got like a beat in it. The computer has like a beat, except it's a very, very fast beat. <laughs> What's up, Miley? I didn't do it. Raise your hand. Yeah, for the ads, for the question. OK. 98, 240, 204. Okay, so what's this alpha thing? 
How should I add in this alpha? Go ahead, Miley. Uh, you just add 40 after 204. Beautiful, thank you. Fourth parameter. Uh, 400, 400. So now we're drawing a rectangle. So what this is going to do is it just, I, you know what? I'm going to not do the colors that they wanted. I'm going to copy our background colors and put it in the fill. There. Now, basically what it does is it makes the inner circles like fade out. If I made it, I'll play with the transparency after the rest of the code is in there. All right, no fill function. Who knows what the no fill function does? It makes it not have a fill. Yeah, there's no color it. on the inside of the shape. Uh, I'm just gonna set it to white because I'm lazy. The stroke color, I know it's like an off white. It's like pale blue, but I don't think it matters that much. You can then uh, add a transparency. To what? To the white, so it's not literally white. Okay. What? How much transparency should I have? I don't know. Maybe like fifty. Fifty. Okay, let's do that. Who's got the TV on? <laughs> I'm gonna mute everybody because that's what I do when there's miscellaneous noise. Okay, for loop. Create a for loop where counter i begins at zero. How do I do that? I'm gonna make a counter i. What's up, Miley? Uh, I equals L. Var I equals zero. Yeah, so if it had said counter J begins at 20, I would have done var J equals 20, but that's not what it said. So we good. Well, I is less than drops. It's not going to be drops. It's going to be bubbles. Uh, less than bubbles dot length. So that's going to be how many bubbles are in bubbles. <laughs> how many paintings <laughs> are in bubbles. I increases by one. What's another way you could write I increases by one other than I plus plus? Anybody know how else you could write I gets bigger by one? I plus equals one. Yes. Uh, I dot Y with the size drops at I. So what we're doing is we're looking into the array we're checking the pin value at that point in the array. It's like uh, I, I walked into somebody's apartment and checked out what the color of the walls were, keeping with our apartment analogy from yesterday. Uh, drops I radius, drops at I radius. Fun fact, <laughs> radius. Um, oh, it's not drops, it's bubbles. Well, I'm fixing that. Uh, in the the width of a circle, when you make an ellipse, is the width of a circle the radius, the circumference, or the diameter? Uh, so when I make an ellipse, like var or just a ellipse, 200, 200, and then 50, 50, is 50 going to be the line from the center of the circle out, or is it going to be the line from one end of the circle to the other end? One end from the other end. Yeah, and what's the mathematical name for that? Circumference. Circumference is the uh, perimeter. It's the outside. It's the diameter. So fun fact, this variable is incorrect. It'll work because uh, the computer's not checking for accuracy in terms of like math words. Bubble is not defined. But uh, yeah, whoever wrote this program uh, used the wrong word. They used the wrong math word. It's supposed to actually be diameter. Uh, anyway, bubbles is x, y, radius, radius, increase bubbles at i dot radius uh, plus equals bubbles at i dot speed. Okay, so it should it should work for any bubbles in the array bubbles, but we don't have any bubbles in the array bubbles. So what do we do about that? So what this is doing is looking through the array bubbles and doing stuff to all the bubbles in the array bubbles. It draws a picture of it and then it makes it bigger. So we're going to make a mouse. So what we want to do is when we click the mouse, a bubble gets put into the array bubbles. 
So we're going to go, and our bubble object is called thing. <laughs> Just for confusion. So we're going to say a mouse clicked equals function. And we're going to, how do we add a ping to the bubbles array? Maybe push a drop? Uh, push a bubble? Yes. Uh, all right. Why isn't it working? Oh, well, it's sort of working. Oh, you need it. You said at the beginning that it needs to be <laughs> at mouse X and mouse Y. That is correct. So inside the ping constructor, we're going to go mouse X, mouse Y. This is to satisfy these two grammars up here. This is saying like, hey, you're going to have an X and Y value. You're just not going to know what it is until we make the constructor, which is down here. All right. So some of them get bigger real fast. Some of them get bigger real slow. So let's like change the bubbles. transparency. They look like real bubbles though with their fill. Well, there. So if we change the transparency of the background, um, it's a big rectangle slapped on top of the background. So I'm going to change the transparency from 40 to 100. Let's see. If, I don't even know what's going to happen. Looks like the outline around them is a little bit smaller. If I make this fully opaque, then they have no trail. If I make this like 10, they'll probably have a hazier trail. Have a no. hazy trail. It looks more like bubbles then. Yeah, I like that. Pretty. Yeah, this looks more like good. bubbles. <laughs> yes. Change the colors. Uh, change the uh, colors. Phil. Phil. Uh, okay, what color do we want it instead? Um, blue. Uh, maybe like a light pink shade? Uh, uh, I think the light pink will show up better than blue on blue. So that's my reasoning for going with that. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to make... Where? I can't even find it. Oh, it's going to be a stroke. Or you could add, it. yeah, a stroke. 255, 200, 24. Can I request a pink? Yes. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, that's actually okay. I was going to say 220, 220, 255. Uh, okay, well, it's pretty close. It's a pretty close shade. Add more dripples. Add more, add more ripples. Uh, we already changed the background color to be a slightly different thing of blue, so it's fine. Add more ripples. How do you guys want to add more ripples? Add another, uh, add another if statement. Where? Under the four, uh, so in here? No, outside. Yeah. All right, so what do I write? For, well, the same if statement. So you mean for loop? Yeah, no, sorry, same for loop. Like that? Yeah. Except I don't think you there's change, one. Um, you need the parameters. So it'll be beside each other. So bubble at, like maybe at dot x divided by two. All right, let's try that. And then divide by six, maybe for the other one. So it'll. Ooh. It'll <laughs> collide, kind of. So when I click once, it makes two different sets of ripples. Um, yeah. So you can do it that way. Uh, another way you can do it, one of my students found out, is you can just push another bubble to bubbles every time you click, just push two of them. Uh, another way you can do that is put bubbles at radius minus one or minus two. Maybe I'll say minus two uh, instead of dividing them. I'll change it back. I just want to see if this works. So it gives them a little bit of a thicker outline. Maybe I'll subtract like 10 instead. Okay, that one didn't work so well, but. <laughs> okay, so we'll get rid of that, put back the divide. So yeah, if you just push multiple bubbles, then it makes more ripples. That's assuming that they have the same speed for all of them. Anyway, that's a lot more ripples with every click. And it, so I have still not figured out how to do this challenge. Oh, uh, I kind of have it. Like, it's not literally right, but I have an idea for it. I don't how know do you do I... it? We'll test it out. 
Well, can I share my screen? Like, it's technically the sure. same code that's here. But, like, mine sometimes cancel each other out like that. All right, show me. Just like that. They cancel each other out. Uh, so how did you do that? It's the exact, uh, well, I just, it's the exact same code you have on your screen currently, though. But they just sometimes look like they stop appearing when they touch? No, they just like, can you see like that X mark in the middle when they collide? I just did divide right. by two and divide by six. So when the Y meet, cause like they're a diagonal. So when yep. the Y meets, then I did divide by six, which makes them like go separate. Okay. So I think the goal is to make them both disappear uh, when they touch each other. Like, oh, like pop topic. them, yeah. Like break, like take them out of the array bubbles when they touch. And I tried to use distance to do that, but I have not figured out how to do that yet. So for now, this is gonna have to be okay. <laughs> I will keep trying, and Hallie will also keep trying. And wow, this was amazing and satisfying. <laughs> Awesome, I'm glad you're no, no, that. no, no, not that part. I'm looking at another part just got approved. Okay. I was looking at it, and it looks so satisfying. <laughs> Which project is that? Fuzzy Flowers. Fuzzy Flowers. Is it one of yours? Yes. Let's look at the satisfying project. <laughs> it looks satisfying to me, but maybe not satisfying mm -hmm. to you. Well, it's if you think it's cool, then we'll check it out. Fuzzy Flowers. Ooh. In very top <laughs> I just did it I just did it today. Is that and here's the default or Python. This is in JavaScript. Oh, okay. yeah. I only did two Python. Python. It would be death draw. Yeah, yeah draw. instead of var. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Drippy. Um right, so this video is up. So did anybody comment what Projects they like to do. Miley's got hockey shootout. Was that Miley? It starts with an M. Somebody who starts his name starts with an M said hockey shootout. Does anybody else have any requests for projects that we should do today? Shootout. Whoa, this is going to be a long one, isn't it? <laughs> User takes shots on a man hockey net. The goalie should move back and forth. Let's see. Oh, goal click to reset. Cool. So, okay. if so statement. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to prove that we have done projects uh, from project description before. So, bring back the little dude. See, there's Your project so description. description. Yes, feed the dude. Food, yummy, cool. Um, so, I don't want to keep you guys here forever. So I don't want to do this from project description. Uh, my pro I'm going to try and do as Pseudo many code. as possible at English Pseudo description. Pseudocode. Pseudocode? Okay, I'll do... Okay, so yeah, I was not going to be able to make that up all by myself. Do Should we do a, a typing contest again? See how what fast do you mean by typing type? contest? Like, see how fast we can get it typed out? Um, the timer? I don't... Wait, can it go down a little bit for the variables? Yeah, okay, sure. Well, wait, I have a question. What's your question? For the typo, will you be explaining the code after or before? Like uh, while you're typing? Probably while I'm typing. Variables, I kind of don't feel like they need explanation because I don't know what they do right now just by looking at them. So I'll know what they do as soon as I see how they're used. Okay. I'm just going to type them. Okay. And are we going oh. to vote how long we think you'll do? Okay, <laughs> you want to do that? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, stop watch. Uh, I think last time I took something like 47 seconds to get all the variables out, but I wasn't talking. And we've made it clear that that's part of the rules, that I have to be stop. talking. <laughs> are you guys taking bets on how long I'll do uh, on Aki Shudo? 
Um, Google is helpfully telling me what a stopwatch is. One minute uh, thirty seconds. One minute thirty seconds. All right. Uh, no, don't need that. One, two, three. Can you also explain what that A means on your screen? What the like, A? Where's the A? Like, it comes, like, it's that lock. The lock? The lock that has A on it. That's caps oh, lock. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, yeah, it's caps okay. lock. They, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know what you mean. Uh, okay, ready? Let me see if I can do this. Two, um, one, go. <laughs> uh, we can change this guy later because I do actually know uh, what this guy is doing. I have to be really careful uh, because I spell this correctly because I can break the whole code. <laughs> My M key is sometimes sticking. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. 370, that's weird. Our puck scale, one. X speed. I'm assuming that the X speed uh, is going to be increased What's because right now it's target? zero. Sorry? Names to target. Uh, I do not know. That's just a weird variable name. Names to target. Equals. Maybe we're going to adjust the frame rate in this project. Scale rate. Okay, so I'm assuming this has to do something with the puck getting smaller as it flies. Wait, can you show the preview? Does it uh, like after I'm not being timed? Oh, yeah. Okay. After. <laughs> Center, and I gotta fix it. Can't be image mode. <laughs> Oh, Niles is pretty close. I was right. I said seconds. one minute 30. Oh, Niles said two. It's also two minutes. Well, you were both close, but yeah, Miley, you were the one who said one minute 30, but I still beat your expectations. <laughs> so that like, is how, I, how you determine if I'm a good coach, if I can type things quick. So yeah, let's look at the this thing. Oh my goodness, go away. Did I not even fix it? Are oh, I've got caps lock on. Again? Sure, why not? Did I even fix it? Did I fix what's I don't know this guy's name. Do you guys have you a name for this guy? Away. Huh? The dragon? Yeah, I thought you should go away to the dragon. Oh. <laughs> no. I, I love my dragon. Actually it's Kayla's dragon, but I still love him. Uh so yeah, the puck kind of gets smaller as it goes by. Oh. So it calculates the shot percentage by how many I've scored and how many I haven't. Anyway. Uh Create the goalie object literal that holds the goalie's vision center. I think we can do that in English description. What is that? Goalie object. Goalie object. Uh, and I'm going to mute everybody again. Just give me a second. Cool. Um, var. Or so, no, it's not var. This. It's this inside object. I guess I don't even have to do. I guess this could be an object literal. Yeah. Unless you want to do two teams. True. The X um, position should be. Where is the goalie's position? Is it two hundred? Okay. We don't have a variable that, do we? Okay. I don't uh, know why. Oh, I don't need semicolons. I need comment. I don't like object literals. <laughs> Can you tell? Same here. Uh, size. Uh, hundred maybe. We can change that. Speed. How fast do we want the goalie to move back and forth? Like three? Five. Five? Well, five's gonna be fast. Really? Let's let's see. Well, let's just see. Five. The net. Okay, our net uh, it holds the net's top, left, right, and bottom position. Oh my goodness. Maybe break it down. No. Why are we using the? Because we're drawing it with three lines. Yeah. Uh, we can do this. This is probably like 100, 300, 200, 200. <laughs> well, let's just guess. And then the goalie's X position, uh, image mode is center. So maybe we'll make him at about uh, 250. Let's just, let's just guess. <laughs> uh, so that's, that would be the Y. 250. So then the net is going to be, uh, top is going to be 
uh, at position 200. Is top already defined? Is it? I don't think it is. Uh, left is going to be 100. Right is going to be 300. Bottom is going to be 300. Just because I say so, and we can change it if it sucks. We're going to see if the puck is scored. Okay, I'm going to... Wait, 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 wait. Do we have a... We have a puck X and a puck Y. So we can say var check score equals function. And we're going to check. Sorry? What were you going to say? I'm going to check if the puck is scored on the goal. So I'm going to say if puck x is greater than 100 and fuck y is wait no i better break that down because it has to like fly through the air at some point <laughs> yeah i'm gonna break it down scored goal okay scored A goal quiz. set a variable puck width okay yeah i wasn't gonna get that <laughs> Wait, what? 40 times puck scale divided by two. Yeah, this is just annoying. Our puck height equals 15 times. So will puck width only be used in scored, scored goal? I think so. Yeah, because it's local. So you have to declare it inside score goal. So yeah, it's local. Uh, so it gets remade every time scored goal is called. So puck scale will presumably change. If puck x is greater than net dot left. And so this is what I was gonna do before. Net dot right and puck y is greater than net dot top. And puck y is less than net dot bottom. And then we make another if statement. Oh my goodness, what's wrong? Is what did I do asking? wrong? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. Just get rid of uh, um, so if, 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 wrong. Oh, is it? Where did I do that? Um, Pug x is greater than goalie dot x minus goalie dot width divided by two. Wait, we didn't have that in our goalie, dude. Size, oh, size has to be width, width. So you need height? Sorry? Wait. Yeah, yeah, I do need height. All right, so now what we're gonna do is say, wait, why is it? Okay, no, I'm still typing. So leave me alone, skirt computer. The right is spelled wrong. Right is spelled wrong. Well, that's no good. Rigged. Wait, it, it is. It's spelled fine because it's spelled fine. R I G H T. Yeah, that's fine. Net is not defined. Oh, it's a capital N. That's why. <laughs> Messed myself up. The capitals. Net dot bottom if puck is greater than goalie with a capital G minus goalie width divided by two uh, and puck yeah. x yeah, is less than goalie dot x plus goalie yeah. dot width divided by two Not less. and Than goalie and dot y. I was saying you spelled goalie wrong. Yeah, it should be a capital G. Yeah. Goalie and more goalie and more and goalie. goalie with a y. Did I spell goalie with a Y? No, I didn't. Where did I do that? No. Okay. And goalie I did it by two. This uh, is so and puck. Y is less than goal. This is a lot of typing, yeah. This is giving me uh, um, 2048 flashbacks. <laughs> uh, 
then what do we do? Return false. Okay, that was anticlimactic. Oh my goodness, what do you want with me? Are you sad? <laughs> I'm okay. H not R. Oh, where did I do that? Oh, control R. Oh, okay, I see. Thanks, Niles. I, I didn't see that until now. Um, return false and return true. Return true. Do you know why it's going to leave Ida Smith? Yeah, because okay. we're looking at the goalie's location, but the image is centered. So the goalie Y will be the center of the goalie. So we have to add on half his height. Because if we add on the whole height, then it'll be like a whole guy standing from the, it'll be like up here. So we have to add on half the height or minus half the height to check that if it's like inside the goalie. Because if it's covered by the goalie, then I don't get a goal because the goalie blocked it. Uh, return true. Else, I'm gonna see if we can maybe get halfway through this, and then I'll set up the quiz from yesterday. Oh. Can we play it in teams? Sure. <laughs> if if nobody like gets mad about that, I broke this down because this is can annoying. We, can we play solo? There you go. Can we do what solo? Uh, everybody comment in the chat whether you'd like to do it solo or teams. I'm just going to copy and paste this because we all know how to draw pictures, I think. Lined up. It has to be capital N's. Control H. Net. Replace with. Net. Replace, 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 Who wanted okay, to cool. do this project? I don't know. Somebody whose name started with M. I couldn't actually see. Uh, I know it's, it's not Miley. I, I, well, I know I she know has done it, maybe. It was Miley who oh, recommended. No, no. I, that was a different project I'm looking at. Who I wanted anyone hockey? Else, um, I think before the webinar, hockey. maybe. Hockey shootout. Who was it? It was, it was Miley. Yeah, but I wanted a challenge. Oh. <laughs> One of the challenges? Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, we got to complete it's it first. okay. Yeah. Hutter says bye. Bye, Hutter. Um, Grant wants teams. Not okay. someone wants solo. A is okay with anything. Solo, solo. Find and replace. H not R. <laughs> Looks like we're doing solo. Um, oh, I will oh, keep working the on this. Hip, keep working on the hockey guy while you guys are doing the quizzes. If the same person types solo twice, I don't count it as an extra vote. Just Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Because I can see that it's still you. Can we do hopes <laughs> the race? Yes. So why is it third to twelfth grade? Am I doing the ask quiz? Because they always ask me what age levels it's for, and I always say third to twelfth grade. Just because. the second grade comes in first? Uh, then they're advanced for their age. Wow. Brother, come on. <laughs> uh, so now has put his quiz in the chat. I put my quiz in the chat. Uh, I will keep working on the hockey dude uh, so that we can do the challenges next time. Uh, I have joined Niles's. Cool. Yeah, do Niles. Oh, I drank all my juice. Sad. Nope. What flavor? Yeah, strawberry peach. I love it. I drink like two bottles in four days. Oh, like a big bottles? Uh, I can like get them. <laughs> if you really want to see how much. Can you make it? Can I make it? Um, multi share uh, so yes. Niles can also share. Um, yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay. So multiple participants can share now. Thanks. Uh, all right. Has everyone <laughs> joined my quiz that wants to join my quiz? Or is there other people who want to join? Niles. Someone has. It's Sorry? me and Niles. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep working on. I'm going to start my quiz now. So if anybody else is hoping can to join. Scores sometimes. Scores? Yes, I'll go back and see who's in the lead. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, two, one, one, go. <laughs> yeah, boy, got it. 
<laughs> okay, I turned off the music for this okay. one because it's getting annoying. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, boy, you get the first question. Now, are you starting right now? Uh, or wait? Okay, that's a question for now. Bar, move, goalie, equals function. I'm working on component six. I'm going to see if I can do it in English description. Uh, so I'll say image of the goalie image. And I'll say it's at goalie.x, goalie.y, uh, goalie.width. I bet you can't guess the last one is. And then we'll say goalie dot width, or sorry, x. So I guess if it's if goalie dot x is greater than net dot right or goalie dot x. Who's winning? Who is winning? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, with three thousand seven hundred ninety points, Miley, you are third. You are exactly no. In the middle. Someone took my name. I'm Yah. Okay, Yah, you're winning. <laughs> someone took I don't my know. Name. Someone took my name. I'm well, I did this with some I'm of my yeah, uh, dedicated students, and they all took each other's names and my name. That was nice. Yeah, it was confusing. They'd be like, "Who's winning?" I'd be like, "Raya," and Amara would be like, "That's me." <laughs> <laughs> Less than net dot left. Um, then goalie dot speed times equals negative one. And oh. then cool. I think I'm done component six. Uh, we will see. Well done. Function that draws the book on the canvas. I'm not doing that. Okay, this is at least easy. Component seven is easy. Uh, hook plus function. No stroke. Fill is black. I don't know why they did the no stroke if the fill is black anyway. X puck y. 40 times puck scale. 15 times puck scale. Interesting. Well, I probably could have done that, but I didn't, so too bad. Hey, if anyone's not doing anything, go check out Niles' quiz. Uh, you can even look at his screen by clicking on the green bar and choosing view options, I think. Uh, functions that performs the action is theory of functions. Oh, it's long. <laughs> Component eight is long. All right, shoot puck. Yeah. Bad. I don't like it when functions are long. It's like, well, then why are you functions then? If shot. So if you want to say if shot is equal to true, you can just write if shot because whatever's inside, if brackets gets compared to true anyway. So when you say if shot equals 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 true, then it's if true equals true equals true. <laughs> Because this whole thing is compared to true. So it still works. It's just unnecessary. Uh, increase puck x by x speed. Surprised we didn't make a puck object if we're going to use so many variables for this. Uh, and also do puck y. Who's winning in my game? Uh, yeah, is still winning with yeah boy in second place oh. and Miley in third, but like not the yeah. real Miley, the f imposter Miley. Oh. <laughs> so Miley, you're beating your imposter. Is there a place I can go to see all the hatch images? Yes, there is. You can click on this button right here. It says images. It's right next to the pink research button, uh, and then it will get you all the images. So uh, the one we used is Avatar slash Old Spice Man Blue, but you can change that to like Avatar's Mr. Pink. 
But it's you could choose news. other images from the web also. If you like an image from the web, you can also get it. Yeah, there's a load image function, and I have a load image tutorial on uh, the Hatch website. Very nice. Which you may subscribe to, but you don't have to. I don't do the thing where at the end of every video, I'm like, like and subscribe. You know? Wait, what? <laughs> you now stop video, sharing? This video is sponsored by Audible. <laughs> it, it, they aren't. We do not have any sponsorships. That'd be cool. Not playing anymore. Okay. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, decrease puck scale. To do kick me out. Uh, your username is it's username. Is this, yeah. Who yeah, are you? That's me. Yeah. Now, who said they wanted to get kicked out? Jay. Am I kicking out Jay? E boy. Yeah, who's who am I? No, kicking yeah, out? boy is me. Yeah, who am I kicking out? Because I don't want to kick out the wrong person. That would be mean. Mm, I don't think so, Ryan. Uh, he's asking for Project Snowman. Can I just put the snowman image? You can try it. <laughs> you can try it. Jay. All right, bye, Jay. Nice to see ya. Uh, down to four players now. Oh, the accuracy is really good. 66%. Yeah, it is. 66% accuracy. We're, this is a passing class grade. That's awesome. We're learning okay. every time we do that. Yeah, quiz. that's why I made these things. It's really Can good. Can we repeat this quiz after? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, assign shot equals I think false. Everybody's oh my goodness. done now. Let's see. Uh, Imposter Miley's still going. <laughs> it's uh, like the Spider Man meme. You know where they're pointing at <laughs> each other? No, Imposter Miley's done. Okay, now Imposter Miley's done. When I checked the first time, Imposter yeah. Miley was not done. So it's going to end any second now. And the winner is. Yeah, boy! Good Thank job, you. yeah, boy. Can we all go as imposters? <laughs> sure. So I'm clicking play again. Uh, feel free to tell me to remove anybody and put them back in as a different name. You know, I'll help you with that. Because yeah, boy, is still yeah, boy. And if you want to change your name, I'll remove you and you can change it to like Hutter or something. <laughs> and change it to Ms. M. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Size is false, text size equals 50, or just brackets 50. The game is on. Cool. At position 120, 70. Sweet. So we've got Miley, yeah boy, Miley, and I. Is this, look at your usernames on my screen. Is this what you guys want? Do you want me to remove somebody, put them back in, whatever? Is anyone else joining? Is it just the four of you? Okay, I'm just gonna start. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Me. I'm gonna start now. Have fun, guys. Can you mute your volume? Yes, I, I will. All right, so capital M, Miley. Oh, no. So who is who? Who are you, Miley? For real. Because there's two Miley's, but you're all imposters, yeah? Put a shape on a slant. Yes, you can put a shape on a slant. That's a good question. I'll finish this up later. Let's talk about translate and rotate. Yeah. Scratch pad. Now What's in my scratch pad? I don't even know. Play sound. Right. This just plays a GLaDOS quote. Let's explain that to somebody. Uh, Niles. Oh my. Who are you? Niles, are you typing my own thing? Oh, wait, Niles. No, no, I was. That was me. Wait, no, that's Niles. Oh, you. okay, no, that's you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, class accuracy 65% again, and oh, yeah. ca capital M Miley is winning. I don't know if that's the actual Miley, 
Uh, so rotate. So I'm going to put a fill of yellow, because why not? And I'll do our rect on the screen at position 150, 150. That says 250. <laughs> and I'll make it position 100, 100, or size 100, 100. So there we go. That's a beautiful Please be yellow. careful. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. I Did you hear? I Please be careful. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently I'm still sharing my screen sound. Uh, yeah, it's got the share computer sound ticked. Okay, so now, now it's do not the screen. Okay. Uh, so I get to still hear GLaDOS, but you guys don't. Uh, so if I want to put this on a tilt, I can, on top of it, just like you have to put fill before the shape, you also have to put rotate above the shape. Uh, I'm going to rotate it by 10, just because, you know. So you can see it rotated, but it didn't stay it's, in the same place. It's four o'clock. Wow. Stop time spamming flies. in the chat. Well, I'm going to kick everyone out anyway. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so I can rotate it by who's, more. Who's winning currently? Um, Miley with a capital M. Okay. And when I should rotate it even more, like 45, it's almost off the screen. So you have to combine that okay. with a translate. Bye bye. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. I hope that answered your question about I, putting things on a slant. Uh, uh, I mean, no, I, oh, no, All right. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Have a good week. Bye. Have a, until I see you tomorrow. <laughs>